All right, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to go through how to make a bass part in Soundtrap and uh, also adding pads um, to kind of build in more harmony into the song. You'll notice that I've muted these other ones. I've also moved this first melody to uh, only be the eight bars. So this whole section, this 16 bars, is uh, all in the build up. And so we're building up, the drop is about to happen over here, but we're going to add the melody in only after the first eight bars. So it's kind of a gradual build uh, as the song starts. So uh, as I said, we're going to go to bass. So we select guitar or bass. Um, because we're doing uh, electronic music, we're going to select a synth bass sound, and then you'll find one that works well for you. Hopefully this one's okay. I want it darker, maybe this darker one. That will do. All right. So, again, we go piano roll. So, you might remember that we had C, A flat, F, and B flat as our root notes for the chord. So, we're going to put those notes in. We can make these smaller because we're just playing. Uh, the box is smaller, so we're playing just the whole bar like we did in the chords. Instead of being up here in C3 though, because we're the bass, we want to get out of the way. And we're going to go down to this C2. There we go. Uh, and so then our next note is A flat. And then our next note is F. And then our next note is B flat. So we go like that. We're not too worried because the bass is only playing one note. Uh, we're not too worried about the chord voicings and uh, making them smoother. So uh, this is what we've got so far. Uh, let's have a listen to that. I'm just thinking whether this would work better even down the octave again. Let's have a listen. Yeah, I like that much more. All right, so uh, we've gone down um, into a lower range. Uh, <coughs> so we're going to loop this. We're going to loop it for the 12 bars. And then in this last section, we're going to add a new part in here. Uh, so we're going to, sorry about that, so we're going to do that, we're going to add a new part, we're going to go the same darker bass, uh, part of the limitation of Soundtrap is sometimes getting uh, the program to work exactly how you want it is uh, a little bit more difficult, so we're going to add a new track, it will get a little bit more cluttered, uh, when we look at it, but it'll allow us to make a different rhythm uh, more easily and then kind of copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. Here we go. So, uh, darker bass, we're using the same notes here, but instead we're going to use those quavers that we talked about. So, remember quavers, eighth notes, uh, so eight boxes in the bar, as long as you've got that, you're happy. We're starting down here on the lower one. And this is building up to the drop. So we're going to go quavers and then we're going to select. Whoops, I needed to select the little pointer. Select all copy and then we're going to paste it. That shouldn't be there. Okay, and then we're going to go shift down until we get to the A flat. Copy, shift, uh, F is where we're going, so shift down again, and then B flat, shift up until you get to B flat. You can check by pressing the note and it will tell you whether you've put it in, whoops, so like this one I put in the wrong spot, for example, so that wasn't very clever. F, A flat, excellent. So uh, then, because we've done that, 
we're going to move this all the way over here it's basically going to line up perfectly after the uh, first bass was playing so it will sound like this And you can feel that that's just about to drop but we're not quite there yet all right the other thing that we're going to just do quickly uh, is we're going to add in some pads so we're going to select a nice light sound uh, there was a sound called lullaby that I quite liked for this purpose so lullaby uh, and these are going to be what we call our pads so they add the extra notes so either you can just double what you did in the bass part but that's quite boring so you're going to select a note from the, the chord that is not the root note and then you're going to play that uh, and it's going to be a little bit softer to adjust the volume you just kind of scroll around with this wheel up the top here so I'm going to do uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, uh, just a couple of those um, Remember, you can still use voice leading here, uh, so I would recommend you do so. <coughs> Excuse me. And finish on. Whoops. So we're going to do this. Okay, the lullaby sound can be a little bit louder, but that's okay. And then you would basically just loop it the whole way. Uh, that's probably too much. It just fills out the sound um, that we're looking for. Okay. As this finishes, I want you to give that a go, and then we're going to go into the drum part to get the real style of EDM music. 